Welcome to this episode. We're going to talk about the ancient roots of external disease theory and acupuncture and how that relates to modern COVID relief. My name's Kim. I'm a licensed and nationally certified East Asian medical provider and a Taoist practitioner. It's incredible to think that there is this theory that was written down over 2,000 years ago that that theory is still relevant today. As we navigate modern health challenges like the COVID-19 flirt variant, it shows a fundamental consistency in disease and our immune system over thousands of years. And that's the really amazing thing about bridging this ancient wisdom and modern understanding. Oh, you know, hey, if you've been suffering from effects of long COVID and you've been looking for answers, well, I've been talking about the benefit of East Asian herbal therapy and its ability to shore up where our body's weak. If you're curious about what we've been using in clinic, you can find my book on Amazon, which is the treatment of long haul injury from COVID or Vax injury. And what this book does is it gives you an outline of the symptoms and the formulas that I've been using in clinic to address some of these very debilitating symptoms of long haulers like ME-CFS. If you're interested in getting that book, there's going to be a link here, over here, up here, and there's going to be a link down below. What's the difference between an external illness and an internal illness? Well, an external illness or pathogen comes from outside the body. So it's going to be like the viruses, fungus, uh, bacteria. It's going to be like excessive cold that can inv invade the body and cause diseases. And these can be factors that we find in our environment that directly attack our immune system and those will lead to symptoms like colds, flus, fevers, and other infections. On the other hand, internal pathogens develop within the body due to factors like poor eating habits or an unhealthy lifestyle, emotional stress, or long-term environmental impacts. So external pathogens come from outside. They usually cause acute, sudden illness. Internal pathogens are linked to long-term health issues that build up from within. So now that we know the difference between something that comes from outside of us, the external pathogens, or something that comes from inside, internal pathogens, if we look at external pathogens, those things that come from outside, what are the categories in TCM or traditional Chinese medicine? Well, TCM breaks down the external pathogens into two main categories, cold diseases and warm diseases. Each one of these has its own different, unique way of attacking the body. And these theories explain how these illnesses will look as they progress and they get in deeper. They, they also, the theories also give us a roadmap we're treating these diseases at each stage. So what's unique about six stage theory? So six stage theory is about cold pathogens. Now cold pathogens, most of the time you don't think you're sick because these are diseases. These are viruses or bacteria or fungus that you usually won't have a fever with it. They creep in really slowly, and when they get in deep, you start to feel cold. Again, you don't have a fever, and there's really little sweating. You really won't feel sick until these things are really deep in your body. Four-level theory is completely different. That's warm pathogens. That's what we're used to seeing. So before COVID-19, we had warm pathogens. And when we got a flu or a cold, we knew it right away. We felt like crap. Now, here's the thing. Those warm pathogens, when we were feeling like crap, they were still at the high levels in our body and they were pretty easy to get out. Usually in clinic, I could pull those out in one treatment. That's a very different from cold pathogens because by the time you feel that you're sick or you go, I am sick, 
you are really sick and it is very deep in your body. Let's take a look at the history of these two powerful theories. If we look at six stage theory first, the first written account, the first written account was written during the Hun dynasty, which was around 200 AD. So yeah, over 2000 years ago. And it's mind blowing to me that this ancient wisdom is still relevant today. And then we're going to fast forward to the four levels theory, which was documented during the Ming dynasty, which was around 1500 AD which was over a thousand years after the six stage theory and was only about 400 years ago. When I look back at my acupuncture education, one of the things that was very true is that in acupuncture school, we really didn't study cold pathogen theory because it kind of seemed like that wasn't a thing anymore. And, and it really wasn't. Thanks to modern technology, we had all this clothing, we had cars, we had housing. We were not exposed to the environment and cold pathogens a lot of times come from the environment. Before COVID, the colds and flus, they were falling under warm disease categories like the four levels theory. And then, you know, something really unexpected happened my first exposure to a cold pathogen was during the 2013 flu epidemic here in the United States. And I think what made this flu really sneaky is people didn't know they were sick until they were really sick and they had this hideous bronchitis. So if you call my episode on the six stages and COVID, how sick are you really? Bronchitis is bad in warm pathogen disease theory, but it's still usually at the chi level. It's still usually at the higher levels. You have to get to pneumonia to get into the deeper levels. Bronchitis in cold pathogen theory is already deep in the body. It has already gone into the yin level of your body. So not the chi level, it has sunk below and is now in the yin level. It's really easy for a cold pathogen to turn into pneumonia. And that's what it was doing during this 2013 epidemic. That was my first experience with cold pathogens. And there was one other thing that the cold pathogen did that was different. It liked to go deep into the body, probably because we didn't know we were sick. So we didn't start taking preventive measures until it was already pretty deep in the body. And it liked to go deep into the body and go after the kidneys. So in six stage theory, illnesses that go to the kidney level, that's the fifth stage. So out of six stages, that's the fifth stage. And the kidneys in Chinese medicine, it's considered the furnace of the body. So when a pathogen attacks the furnace, it turns the furnace down and you end up feeling really cold. So that's one of the key symptoms that you'll get and you'll go, oh, this is really pretty deep. It's at this fifth stage. The other thing that these cold pathogens did that was different is it was like they left this trail in your body like ants. So it was like these viruses were ants. And you know how ants like to leave a trail to the food? So any ant that comes behind it, can easily get to the food. Well, that's what this cold pathogen did is it left this trail deep into the body. And it was kind of like this trail of least resistance. So if you're looking for the least resistance in your body, you're going to go to areas that are already impacted where you're already having health issues because your body is not going to be able to mount a full defense against a virus. And so what we saw was that the cold pathogen, it liked to go in deep, but it took the path of least resistance, impacting or making worse any pre-existing conditions you might have. If we look at COVID-19 today, 
it seems to do that. It seems to follow this little ant trail deep into your body to where you already have health issues like colitis, gastritis, kidney stones, diabetes. It seems to be able to follow that trail and make those symptoms worse. Now there's one last piece of information from the classic text. And not that that's all the information out there, but you know, this is a piece that I thought was really, really interesting. So this text is the Zhao Yi Jing. It was written around 200 AD, so about 200 years after Christ. And this was written before the four levels, right? Because the four level theory, which dealt with warm pathogens, was written around 1500 AD or like a thousand years after cold pathogen theory. So when they were writing this book, they were writing about cold pathogens. And there was a question about illness from a cold pathogen, and it's in chapter 15 on the five colors. Li Gong asks, some people die suddenly without disease. How can this be understood? And the yellow emperor answered, when Major Chi, and Major Chi is an extraordinarily violent pathogen, so an extraordinarily violent cold pathogen, has entered the visceral and bowels, sudden death will occur without disease. The visceral and bowels are the yin and yang organs. So they're the organs of the body. So when this very violent virus enters one of the organs, it can cause sudden death. I think that's really telling because today we are seeing so much sudden death in younger adults. There seems to be no indication of illness and then they suddenly die. Now, this is a unique flavor of cold pathogens, and it's unique to these cold viruses. This doesn't happen with warm pathogens, but with cold pathogens, the virus, it can enter an organ and it can cause sudden death. And the one I think that is uh, the most obvious event that we are having right now is cardiac events. I think cold pathogen theory explains what you're going to experience if you get infected with cold pathogen. I think it explains some of the risk. It explains how you can treat that or it gives an outline of how you can treat that. If you want to know how the stages look, check out my episode on how sick are you when we're looking at COVID-19. What this theory also does is it gives you this bioorganic approach on how to use acupuncture and East Asian herbal therapy to help shore up your immune system to overcome whatever this hideous pathogen is. Okay, until next time, I'll catch you on the other side.